Okay, let's continue thinking about and creating our very own color wheel. Today's class, we're going to finally add some color to our color wheel. We're going to need something to color with. So you may have crayons, colored pencils. You can have markers to help you get started today on our artwork. Mrs. Sars today is using crayons. We are going to need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So hopefully your set of crayons, color pencils, or markers has all of these colors. Why don't you take a minute to check? The first color we are going to create is one of our primary colors. Our primary colors, remember, are red, yellow, and blue. So why doesn't everyone grab their red crayon? I'm going to start at the very top of my color wheel and I'm going to draw and color the first mouse red. What I like to do is I always like to outline my shape first nice and dark, and then I like to lightly color in the rest. I always want my hand to move in the same direction when I color. It makes my art look a lot better. So if you notice my hand is just going in this direction, nice and smooth with even pressure which means I'm not pressing too hard and then too light and then too hard again. And just like that, we have started our color wheel. The next color that we want to use is actually going to be orange. So go ahead and grab yourself an orange crayon or colored pencil or marker, whatever you have lying around that you can use for today's art project. We're going to go next door to our red mouse and we're going to color our next mouse orange in the same way. I like to outline my shape, tells me where my color needs to go. Don't forget ears. Don't forget the face. They're an important part of my mouse. He doesn't want to be forgotten. I guess if you really wanted to, you could even outline the tail. Right? I'll go back and I'll do that on my red one. There we go. Again, my hand is moving in a nice, even direction. It's not going up and down and over and round. It's going side to side to side. And just like that, I have an orange mouse. Perfect. Okay, if you're ready for your next color, Yellow it is. So if you notice, we're going in an order. So our next mouse, next to our orange mouse, is going to be yellow. I want to try to stay inside the lines. I don't want to get too distracted by other things. I also want to try to fill in all the little white spaces I see on my paper. I shouldn't see a lot of white spaces when I'm coloring. 
sometimes I need to go back and fill them in. Okay. So far, we've done our red mouse, we've colored our orange mouse, we've colored our yellow mouse, and we're halfway there. Okay, so I'm going to need green next. And next to my yellow mouse, I'm going to make a green mouse. Here we go. Remember to look for those little white spaces and make them green. You almost might be noticing that we are creating the colors of the rainbow. So the color wheel actually moves in the direction of the rainbow. Sometimes I like to call that Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, okay? So you might have guessed what our next color is. Here we go, it is actually blue. So grab your blue crayon, color your next mouse blue, and we are so close to being done. Staying in the lines, my hand is smoothly going inside the shape. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm not pressing too light. And I am making an awesome color wheel. All right. Last color. So you guessed it, we have one color left, it's purple. Sometimes we call purple violet. They mean the same thing. So grab your blue, excuse me, your purple or your violet crayon and let's fill in our final mouse. Aha! Just like that, we created a color wheel. Can you believe it? If you want, for fun, you can pick any color. I'm going to use yellow, and I'm going to color in my block cheese. Boop! Okay, so to review, kids, we have primary colors, red, yellow and blue. We have secondary colors, purple, orange, and green. And you can mix two primary colors to make every secondary color. And that today is our color wheel. You did an excellent job. Thank you for listening and thank you for doing a, such a good job with your coloring.